this is how we do yoga in Israel. My name is Ravital and today we are celebrating the 10th International Yoga Day in Israel. Did you know yoga aligns well with Jewish spiritual values? Finding inner peace, mindfulness and connecting to something higher. Both Judaism and yoga emphasize setting aside the mundane to focus on the sacred. Rooftop yoga, yoga by the beach, surf skateboard yoga or yoga with your pets. Name it and you'll find it. But how do Israelis practice yoga? And why do they love it so much? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Nivi and I do yoga on a skateboard. Hi, I'm Yali and I'm a yoga student, Sun Yoga in Amat Sharon. I'm studying the Ashtanga. Namaste, I'm Cindy and I practice Vinyasa and Ashtanga. Hi, I'm Elena and I'm a yoga teacher for special education kids. One word that comes to your mind when I say yoga. Balance. Happiness. Can I say three? There's just too many. Sure. Relaxation, meditation, peace. Can I say two words? Sure. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. How long have you been practicing yoga? Since I remember myself. Every situation I came to the yoga and every situation I hope to come back also to the yoga in the life. Wow, I think by now it's about uh, nine years. I've been practicing since I was in the age 12 and then I moved to Israel and now I'm back. I'm practicing yoga for 17 years. I was 33 year old when I started to practice. Why did you choose yoga? Most of my life I've been struggling with anxiety and when I found out that yoga and meditation and breathing helps with anxiety, it got rid of it. I didn't choose yoga, a yoga chose me. Well, actually the first time that I uh, tried yoga, it was with my uh, parents. They took me to a practice and I actually fell in love with it. Actually, I was a gymnast for many years and when I decided to stop it, yoga was my first uh, sports to go to and it really connected to the life that I had before as a gymnast with the flexibility and the strength but it was more calmer, so it was uh, embraced uh, easily to my life. I choose yoga because I think that this is my way to solve all the questions that I have in my life. And this is the place that I can get answers. Do you have a pose or an asana that represents the essence of Israel? I think tree pose because, first of all, in Israel we are all connected from the roots and we sprout to be a bigger and better tree, and then we come as a community. I would say Kirabhadrasana of warrior poses, warrior one, warrior two, and warrior three, and it say how strong we should be to survive all uh, the tornadoes we have here in Israel. I think the one that I would go to is a headstand because our first prime minister, David Ben-Gurion, he used to do headstands all the time and really kind of like make it part of the norma here. So yeah, I think that's that's the main pose of Israelis. Shavasana. Why? It gives you the peaceful that you need to live in this country. How do you connect yoga to your Jewish practice? Wow, I think that the balance within our hearts is something that makes us feel better about ourselves. And I feel that this is really connected to my Jewishness because I feel like whenever I'm in balance and I'm in good shape as a person, as a human being, I can be better for other people and calmer and nicer and it's really connected because it's also on the physical side but also in the spiritual side and uh, I feel like the light is really connected between both cultures, both uh, religions. I think that yoga is like a prey and I see it like symbolize the Jewish praise that you do every morning or something or some people do it like three days a day and uh, when you do yoga you are in the silence of a prey. So I think it can come together and combine both of the nationals. I'm not very religious, but yoga helps me connect with my Jewish beliefs. 
Share one message with India, the country that gifted the practice of yoga to the world. Namaste. You make the world a better place. Thank you for bringing this practice into the world. As we speak now, there are three groups of people doing yoga on the Israeli beach. For those of you who don't know, a lot of people from Israel travel to India to practice and learn, and they bring it back here and they teach us. Guys, you're just amazing. From all people I met in the world, you're warm and you are more kindness people and I am very very thankful for a Torah of yoga you gave to the world. Why do you think Israelis love yoga? I think that the Israelis live crazy life in this country and they are looking for a balance. If you see what happens here since the 7th of October or if you're taking uh, like during the COVID and I think that the yoga give us balance to survive here. Wow I think it's really connected to the fact that about like 35 years ago, Israelis started going to India a lot after their uh, army service uh, to relax and to get a different uh, perspective about life. And I think that a lot of Israelis take it uh, and embrace it into their lives because it's really life-changing. It makes you calmer, it makes you more fit, but also very energetic. I think that Israel is a very fast paced country. Yoga lets us pause, breathe, relax, and then we go back to our fast-paced country. Very, very busy here in Israel, and our life is just absolutely terrific, and a yoga helping me relax, calm down, bring quietness to my body and mind. Have you been to India to practice or to learn yoga? No, I never have been in India, but I did practice yoga with a lot of teachers from India and also I had my students, a little one from India also. But I would love to go to India and uh, stay for a few months and just uh, try real yoga experience. Well, actually not yet, but I really want to go. I have so many friends who have been there and I study so much about uh, Buddhism and Hinduism, so I really, really want to go. How does yoga help you skateboarding? So I think yoga is all about balance and I actually do surf skating, um, which is kind of like uh, copying the movement of surfing in the sea. And it really helps me because it connects my body to the board and make me feel the balance in a more calm way and I can uh, expand the movements that I do because I feel calm on the board thanks to the yoga and thanks to the balance that it gives me. I dedicate this practice to my friend Ayala Tarnin. She was a good friend of mine and we used to do yoga together. Unfortunately, she was murdered on October 7th on the Nova Festival and I hope you can see it and be happy. Hello, I'm Yaakov from Israel. I think that yoga gave to the world the best thing that ever was mentality and physically. The way of life with the yoga, it changed people to be better people, healthy people, and the mentality thinks only good. This is what happens when East meets Middle East in the Holy Land. As India's dear Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi said, yoga is an integral part of our lives. Yoga offers a sanctuary of calm, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with calm and fortitude. Wishing you all a meaningful yoga day. Until next time.